Hello everyone, my name is Ashish and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use merge and append queries inside Power Query in Power BI. So here we have uh, the customer table having four rows and three columns, column ID, column name and email. Then we have an order table having order ID, customer ID, order date and amount. So let's understand the basic rule. In merge operation, columns will be added to the table, whereas in append operation, rows will be added to the table. So now, first I am going to perform merge operation with customer and orders table. So to perform the merge operation, there should be some key columns in both the tables. So here in customer table, I have customer ID, whereas in orders table, I have the customer ID. So on this customer ID, I can do the merge operation. Let me show you how. I can click merge queries and it's showing me two different options, merge queries and merge query as new. So if I, if I choose merge queries, it will perform the merge operation on this customer table itself. And if I do merge queries as new, it will do merge operation on a new table called merge one. Here orders is the fact table. So I will choose orders and then I will click on merge queries and merge queries as new. So here it's allowing me to choose the tables. So first table is orders, which is our fact table. And in the second table, I will choose customer because I want the customer information in the orders table. So I'm going to join on customer ID. And here also I will choose customer ID. Now I will have to choose the join kind. So here we have six kind of joins. First one is left outer. That is basically all from first and matching from second. So if I do left outer, it means it will choose all the customer IDs from the first table that is orders table and will choose only the matching records of customer ID from the second table that is customer table. So if you notice carefully, we don't have 104 customer ID in the orders table. So according to the left outer join, we will not get 104 ID in the merge table. Similarly, right outer is the opposite of left outer. In full outer, all the rows will be there. Whereas in inner join, only matching rows between the two. There are other options like left anti and right anti. Let's choose left outer. And if I click on OK, you can see merge one is created. Here we can see these four columns were already there in the orders table. This customer is added. Now, if I click anywhere on the cell, it will show me the columns this table is carrying. So I want only customer name and email from this table. What I will do is I will click here on the expand button and from here I will unselect the customer ID click on OK these two columns are added so this is how we perform the merge operation now we are going to see how we append queries in Power Query so for that I have sales for January and sales for February it's having three columns date product and sales amount the same column names are there in the February as well it's having date product and sales amount and it is mandatory to have the same column names of the two tables in which we are doing append queries. So in append operation, what will happen is these three rows and uh, in February having three rows, this will uh, append and it will create a new table having six rows for both January and February. So let's do this. I will click on append queries and append queries as new. And it's asking me for the table. So the first table is sales for January and second table will be for sales for February. If I click on OK, you will see an append one is created having the six rows from those two tables. Now what will happen if I uh, change the column name and make it date one. So if I, if I go to append one, you will see that this date one is having nulls for February. So it was not able to append the query as the column names were not same. The, here the January dates are missing and here the February dates are missing. So it was not able to append queries correctly. So that's why we have to take care of the column names. It should be same in both the tables to get the proper result. So this is how we perform append and merge operation inside Power Query in Power BI. That was it for this video. If you like the video, do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.